Hello, welcome to Shika Kitchen. Today I'll be sharing with you my grilled chicken and jollof rice recipe. Over here I have two kilos of soft chicken tights. I'm adding all pepper seasoning and garlic powder, two tablespoons each. Yeah, it's thyme, ginger, and lamb seasoning, two tablespoons each. One shrimp cube. Break it. And then add it to the chicken. We then add wet spices to it. That's ginger, garlic, onion, rosemary, and aniseed blended together. We then mix everything well. Massage it really well. Massage the chicken really well. Make sure all the seasoning is coated on the chicken. We then put it aside in the refrigerator for about four hours at least. So we always do the chicken in advance. These spices are very good. They give me good results on my chicken and other meat recipe. So please try it and you'll love the end results. I have here three and a half cups of rice or six and around 50 grams. Good in basmati rice. I also have here 300 grams of sliced cabbage. I have 400 grams of sliced onions, 800 and, 850 grams of cooked blended tomatoes, 400 grams of smoked mackerel, 200 grams of diced carrots, 200 ml of cooking oil, 150 grams of tomato paste. Spice it, lamb seasoning and thyme, two tablespoons each. Scotch bonnet, 75 grams blended. Wet spices, two tablespoons. A half year blended onions and salt to taste. I also have here my two, three cubes. Preheat the stove on the medium heat. Add the oil to the pan. You then add the wet seasoning. Don't force the cooking process, allow it to cook slowly in order to release the flavor or the four flavors, there are about five flavors in these spices. Cook it for about three to four minutes. You then add the blended onion to it and cook that too for about five minutes. We stir it really well and allow it to cook. I'm adding one cube cooking the salt. It's all about building up a uh, flavor so you allow each ingredients to cook and release its flavor. So we stir the cube. We then add the tomato paste to it and stir this too. We we'll allow this to cook for about six minutes or so because of it need to cook a bit longer due to the acidic form of the 
tomato paste. We then add the scotch bonnet and allow that to, to cook for about three minutes. It. it smells good already. It smells so nice. Wow. Then add the cooked tomatoes to the sauce. We won't cook it for too long because the tomatoes have been cooked already. So we only allow it for about 10 minutes. Yes, you cook it just to reduce the cooking process. So we stir everything together and allow it for 10 minutes to cook. Stir it again. then add the bay leaf to it if you've never tried bay leaf in your jollof rice please try it it gives it releases very good flavor very unique flavor to your jollof rice so just try it and you will love it we then add another cube to the sauce and stir it we are using three cubes all together. And then add the smoked macro. You break the macro into smaller pieces because of the bones inside so that you'll be able to take the bones out. So please bear that in mind. Especially when you are serving children with it. It's very dangerous. So bear in mind to take out the bones a macro is also another good fish to have in your jello fries. So if you haven't tried it before, please try using macro. We are now adding the seasoning. That's lamb seasoning and thyme to the sauce. And then the final cube. Stir it a bit. Break the cube and add it to the sauce. Then stir it again. Now we are on our chicken. It's ready for the grill. So we just put the chicken on the baking trail and then bake it for about 25, grill it for about 25 minutes. Yeah, you turn it, you turn each side, wait for about 10 minutes and then turn the other side. So our grilling time all together for the chicken is about 25 minutes depending on your oven or your grill oh, that's the chicken it smells so nice try the this seasoning our sauce is also ready you're scooping the oil off because we use a bit of oil it's simply to you know help the tomatoes fry proper So we'll scoop out the oil. And that's how much we scoop off. 
Yeah. The sauce is ready. We've washed the rice and adding it to the sauce. That's 650 grams or three and a half cups of golden basmati rice. So you can use any preferred rice of your choice, but I use this one. It's less starchy. And then stir it. Ah, uh, it smells so so nice. Just imagine serving your guests with this rice, with this jollof rice. Oh, they will be so pleased with it. Please, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, share the video, send your comments, press that bell, and anytime I upload a video, you'll be one of the first to receive it. I'm adding one and a half salt. One and a half tablespoon of salt to the rice. And then you stir everything together. With jollof, you don't need too much heat, so we'll reduce the heat a bit. I've also add two cups of boiling water to the rice and then stir it. Uh, look at our rice. It's nearly there. It's smelling so, so amazing. It smells so great. Wow. Your guests will love this. Your family will love this. The children will enjoy it. Please try the recipe. And send me any comments. Your comments are very welcome. It smells amazing. Ooh. <laughs> it smells so nice. And I bet it will taste really nice as well. Try it. <laughs> I'm adding the cabbage to the rice now. Yes. I'm adding it last minute because I don't want it to be too soggy. I want all my veggies to be crunchy. Not too crunchy, but you know, in between. Yes. So over here, I'll allow the steam to cook it. We then stir it. Please try this recipe for me. Just watch it and try it. Share the video. It's smelling so amazing. Wow. Shike Kitchen. Papa no no. We are then adding our diced carrots. And then add the sliced onions. As I said, I want all the veggies to be crunchy, not soggy, not overcooked. I want all the nutrients to remain, so I'm not going to overcook them. And then stir it again. Our rice is ready to serve. Just look at how gorgeous it looks. And it tastes really nice as well. Our grilled chicken too is ready. It's ready. So please, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Show Shike Kitchen some love. Send your comments. Let me know how I'm doing. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch Shike Kitchen.
Thank you so much and God bless you. Remain blessed till we meet another time. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.